and I spent 10 years in Trouscoid. No, seven years in Trouscoid as a cinema class five. And then they turned around and said to me, ah, oh, but you're only uh, 17. So we can't pay you in full. I had to do the same work as my mate, but I was only having half pay. Uh, in Trouscoid, we used to it was a non-crossing station and there were different regulations in Trouscoid as to any of the other station because if you were offered a train from Canilar, you couldn't accept it until you blocked back to Strata Florida which you had to call him up and give him a one and he'd answer it and you'd say th give him three, pour three mm. which that he couldn't offer me a train then because I was going to accept it the one from Clanillar. Oh. And once I accepted the train from Clanillar, and it left Clanillar, then he would give a 2-1 to clear the 3-3 the, the three, three, and ask for permission for the train to go on to Strata Florida. Oh. We had tokens, and at that time we had a staff. And the gradient in Trauscoid from Clanillar, Belly Nuffrin, to the top of the bank was 1 in 41. And he always had to have a banker on the rear of the goods train. The passenger trains would be double header, but the freight would have a banker in the rear. And the banking engine always had to be hooked on to the train, because when it went to the top of the bank, you were going down the bank as well. So you had to push up and hold it back going downhill. Oh, wow. Well. Was, um, was it mainly freight? or? No, no, the, we had... 7.15 in the morning, 9.10, 12.05, 5.45 and 9.15 at night. All through to Kamarian except the 9.15 at night which was uh, three days a week which they used to run down to Trigaran and in the summer they'd run it down to Lampeter. And um, then on the other, other, we had two freights in that as well, 7.30 in the morning from Aberystwyth, which used to come to Trausko to cross with a 5.50 Kamalin. And then he would carry, we had to put him in a siding before accepting the, the 5.50 from Kamalin. And then we'd have the, um, he, he would go, the passenger would go to Aberystwyth and then the freight would be let off. Then we had another freight, 10.30. And he would always have a banker in the rear. And the, the number of the banking engines was either 7417, 7406, 1916, 1917, 1921, 1925, 1926, 55, 60, 36, 30. I could name them all if they were wow. going back 60 years ago. Wow, you've got a better memory yeah. than me. Yeah. <laughs> And then we had to get rid of the 5560 class because she was too powerful. She was so powerful that she used to, when she was banking, they had, she was pulling the rails back and they were on top of the bank there would be a big gap like that and the P-Way department would have to go there on a Sunday to pull the rails back so that you only had about a quarter of an inch or less gap. And the reason for the gap was when, the, when we had summers then, the rails used to heat up and they used to expand. And this gap would close up. And they used to, with the fish plates, where they joined in the two rails together, they had to oil them because they could slide in through the fish plates. Wow. Oh, that's fantastic. And then uh, down the bank, the engine would have to stop then in South of Florida. And then when the seven, 10, 7, 10 Kamala goods came. It would um, use the engine then that had banked the 1030 goods to bank him back because they were always the two heavy loads.